The cat is officially out of the bag of the 2023 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from WWE and Mattel has officially been revealed, man. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news, and it's pretty big news because the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive has been revealed for 2023. We're, of course, going to discuss all the details here today, break down everything about it, how you can obtain it, all those different things. So, with that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into it, of course. I have said over the past couple of months, I found out at the end of May, I think it was like maybe midway through May or late May, I found out what the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive was going to be. I thought it was unique. I thought it was pretty cool, but it's not perfect by any stretch, and we're going to dive into those things as we discuss it today, and surely we'll have this thing in our hands within maybe the next couple, two to three weeks, and maybe we'll get a review up on the channel as soon as possible. But revealing it now, the San Diego Comic-Con 2023 WWE action figure exclusive is none other than... Then Muhammad Ali, man. Muhammad Ali. Yes, the professional, legendary, Hall of Fame, iconic boxer. Muhammad Ali is coming to our WWE action figure collections, Mattel Creations exclusive. I say Mattel Creations exclusive. It's also a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, which is exactly what this thing is. If you guys are unaware, I will actually be in San Diego for SDCC, San Diego Comic-Con for this year. I'm so excited to go out there, man. Should be a trip. We're going to cover all the brand new action figures. I should be able to to get there watch the panel live there I'm gonna be doing all the coverage breaking down everything get in some interviews with mattel break down all of the new action figures of course but this muhammad ali man not only are we getting muhammad ali it is an Ultimate Edition 2-Pack. Yes, a WWE Ultimate Edition 2-Pack is this Muhammad Ali. We're getting two for the price of one. You're getting two Muhammad Ali Ultimate Edition action figures in this pack, man. You get not only his legendary boxing look, but you're also getting his referee look from WrestleMania. Yes, the original WrestleMania. So let's go ahead and break down the images, talk about everything coming on, man. So it says, I am the greatest. As one of the most famous boxers in history, Muhammad Ali more than earned the title of the greatest. We are thrilled to knock out this tribute to the icon with our WWE Ultimate Edition Muhammad Ali action figure set. We're even pulling a rope-a-dope, interesting, by giving you not one but two of Ali's iconic looks championship boxer and referee from the inaugural Wrestlemania. It says here Muhammad Ali is one of the most famous boxers in history due to his dominance in the ring and persona outside of the squared circle. This storied athlete is now immortalized in an Ultimate Edition action figure set featuring two iconic looks, championship boxer and WWE referee from the very first Wrestlemania. WWE Ultimate Edition Muhammad Ali action figure set includes two figures, boxer and referee 30 plus points of articulation, includes multiple heads and hands, specially designed celebratory packs packaging. It also doesn't say here, but it also includes his iconic robe, his entrance robe for his boxing matches. Now, one thing to note is this is not only going to be available for pickup at San Diego Comic-Con, so you can go to the event itself. If you're going to the event itself, you will be able to grab one, but also this figure set will be going up for order on MattelCreations.com on July 21st, 2023, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Now, this is going to be in the middle of Comic-Con weekend, so we'll already have so many different reveals and breakdowns before the this thing even goes live so that should be very interesting i think that's the friday right i think that's the friday of san diego comic-con san diego comic-con does have wednesday night like the preview night on wednesday the 19th and then it goes all the way through sunday i do believe so muhammad ali's ultimate edition set man let's break it down and get into all of my thoughts personally on this set now you guys know that usually the wwe mattel san diego comic-con exclusive is usually some sort of crossover pop culture like they usually cross over with pop culture in some instance right we had the G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter Ultimate Edition. Then we had the Rip and Zeus 2-pack from No Holds Barred last year. And now this year, we have the Muhammad Ali 2-pack here in the Ultimate Edition. And you guys, of course, know we had the Mr. T Elite before that. We had the Slim Jim Macho Man. So they've kind of entered into this area where they like to do the pop culture crossovers for the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. And they usually like to do something really unique. And here, they definitely did something very unique. And I don't know where we go from here as far as pop culture references in the future. Like, I don't know who... Like, how far was Muhammad Ali on the list for me? You know, I, I don't know where, it, like, was he, like, the obvious pick? Were they like, oh, yeah, we're definitely doing Muhammad Ali? Or did they have two or three other guys 
or packs or sets planned ahead of this one that may have fell through or you know they crumbled or maybe they just couldn't get it approved or all those different things man so I'm definitely going to be asking these questions I'm going to be trying to get the knowledge in there you know because I'd like to know how this came about what they were thinking you know was he the number one choice all those different things of course but we will have to find all of those things out before we get into the figures themselves I just want to talk about just having Muhammad Ali in this set and everything like that like first of all I think the figures are fantastic I like the figures individually as a set like as just an action figure collector as a action figure enthusiast and just somebody who who enjoys action figures and posing figures around and loving the aesthetic and everything about toys in general this is fantastic. Like, I love the look of the figure. I like that, you know, we're getting this really cool, iconic Muhammad Ali figure. A lot of people that don't collect wrestling figures, I think, are going to be interested in this figure. I can see people putting this on their desks and stuff at work, like putting it in a little mini boxing ring, all kinds of different things you can do there. And then the referee figure, I mean, this is a great base for, for multiple referees. Like, if you don't want it for Muhammad Ali, maybe you want the boxer, but you don't care about having referee Muhammad Ali. You could easily paint the neck, switch the hands, and make any sort of referee you want to there so that kind of gives you a lot of room there to do some customization i mean maybe hell you could even i know for a fact actually you could do this you could easily throw some jacket arms in this ultimate edition torso and put one of the jackets like the soft goods rubber jackets from a different elite or something like that and have a guy in a bow tie and a suit jacket you could do that as well so i'm just spitballing ideas here but diving into the figures themselves i'm liking the way everything looks here the head sculpts look really good in my opinion it looks like i don't know if we're getting two of the same head sculpt because the referee head sculpt is on there and then in the extra head sculpts looks like we're getting a smirking head sculpt again i like the pissed off head sculpt i like the yelling head sculpt you get a bunch of different interchangeable hands here you get the boxing gloves of course for your muhammad ali and you could also switch those out for black boxing gloves if you wanted to using our other sets that we've gotten with the bob orton and stuff like that you have the fisted hands you have the ricochet Kawhi leonard hand shaking hands a one count hand a two count hand a three count hand and then regular mic holding hands he also comes with his entrance robe with Muhammad Ali on the back which looks really cool it looks like it's gonna have that like towel style feel to it similar to like a elite 85 Liv Morgan or something like that I like the parts choices here the torso choices and everything like that look good I like the white shorts Ultimate Edition boots. I mean, I will say the figures look a bit plain Jane, right? I mean, it's just like a regular referee body, and then you don't have like a lot of deco going on, right? You, you have a bunch of solid colors. You don't have a lot of patterns going on, but you do get the entrance robe. Like, it's a cool set. I, I do enjoy this set. I am obviously going to be grabbing it for review and stuff, and I'll probably get a set for Men on Card as well to go with the Ultimate Edition Men on Card set, but... This is a pretty cool set. I like the photography. All these different action shots look really good. I'm really not the biggest fan of the Build-A-Figure, like Mr. Perfect Legs, that this Ultimate Edition has. You guys know that the Mr. Perfect Build-A-Figure set, they changed the leg mold to now have this, like, more baggy look. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I felt like they were a bit stiff, and they didn't really feel that great in hand to me. I'm very interested to know what you guys think. I've seen a lot of people saying they're passing on this set. I've seen a lot of people say, yeah, this is an easy pass for me. I've seen people say, you know, this is really cool. I dig it. I'm all in. So I'd like to know down in the comment section below where you guys are, but we have known about this for a while. I I, I think it's very unique. I like that, it, that we kind of stepped outside the box. I think where I'm at now is I'd like to see some more modern stuff for the San Diego comic-con exclusive it seems like the past few years they've gone a lot of a lot of throwback stuff which obviously throwback stuff is cool i'm fine with throwback or flashback things i think it's just how far back you go I'd love to see, uh, I've discussed this multiple times on the channel, but a Bone Saw Mo Macho Man look, like the, do all, everything that represents Bone Saw Macho Man Ultimate from the Spider-Man original movie would be perfect, and it could fit into so many different collections. Can you imagine all the Hasbro and Marvel and Spider-Man fans that would want that Bone Saw Macho Man? I, I don't know if they've even tried that. I don't know if, you know, maybe they got denied. Maybe that was on the table and it didn't it get to come to fruition or something like that. Because I know something like that requires a lot of approval. So, again, I don't know what kind of hoops they had to jump through for the Muhammad Ali. But I do know they have to get a lot of approvals to make things like this happen. So, uh, yeah, I'm just interested to know where we could go from here. Of course, we're a year away, so I'm not even going to bother with that. But I would like to know what other projects are on the table because they like to do that pop culture crossover and, you know, stuff like that. I would love to see, like, a LT Ultimate Edition or a Bam Bam Bigelow, maybe that could be a two pack potentially, would be really cool. But that is the official San Diego Comic Con exclusive, man. The cat is finally out of the bag. We finally have it officially. We can talk about it and discuss it here on the channel. But is this a cop for you or are you out, man? I'd love to know down in the comment section below. But of course, I will be there in person to take a look at this. And if I get this in hand as soon as possible, I will be getting my review up. But nonetheless, man, that is going to wrap up our San Diego Comic Con exclusive coverage. 
for this year on the figure itself man we got a figure pack an ultimate edition two pack if you guys were unaware this is a two pack comes with both figures in one but thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts on the san diego comic-con exclusive down below are you guys going to be grabbing or not you think it sucks do you think it's buns or are you on board with this are you grabbing one huge shout out to our patron members of the mdt youtube channel always appreciate you guys so very much if you guys are interested in becoming a patron member yourself check the link in the description below follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'm getting the hell out of here thank you for watching subscribe have a blessed one and i'll see you next time we'll never